Good morning. Good trunk. There's trouble there. I'm off to Krabby. Krabby's going to be a special one. I'm staying where I'm, my accommodation is. It's right by the river, where the river runs right into the sea. So yeah, this is getting quite close up to Phuket. So I might even pop into Phuket for a few days. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what time brings. Yeah, Krabby looks really, really special. So I'll be staying in Krabby Town, and then I'll have a look around the surrounding areas, all the beaches. There's loads to see, loads to see. See if I can get to Rayleigh Beach. Well, I don't know. We'll check it out. We'll check it out together. But right now, I'm off to the bus station, and then I think the journey is about 110 miles. So it's about double the journey, or if not more. I think it's about two hours. So yeah, it's about three times the journey than what it was from Pastelou to Frank. But I've got a good book to keep me company. And I've got you guys. So yeah, come join me on the trip from Trang to Krabi. I've really enjoyed my stay here. It's been really, really nice. The people have been lovely. The food was amazing. The accommodation was great. What more do you want? say this more everywhere because I love Thailand but I am gonna really miss Trang uh, and especially Sleeper House. Her has been amazing we've been talking every day but quite at length she's a lovely girl like I said she's, uh, earlier in another vlog she studied in Leeds <laughs> She studied in Leeds for a year, so her English is perfect. And the half is from Dalek, and that's all Leeds. Yeah, we've had loads of good conversations, really nice girl. And the sleep house itself was amazing. It was so comfortable, I've never had a better night's sleep for a long time, the wild there. The beds were amazing. And the mother, this morning, the mother's been lovely all the time. So, yeah, she stays there with her, not in the and they go home about six o'clock but she's there all day with her and she's really really nice she doesn't speak any english but we're just communicating there uh, just as you do with people who don't speak the same language and she bought the breakfast this morning we were talking about the coconut desserts and then uh all of a sudden she nipped up on the bike i said the pair i said she's oh no don't please don't go get don't go get me something like that because i was asking her what was in there that milky coconut, Kanon Kem, or something it's called, I can't remember what's the now. It was like a coconut milk with coconut biscuit with flour inside. But yeah, I know what it is now. And you can't get it yet. But yeah, I've nothing nipped off. And you come back and got five parcels for all different things. And there was loads. So yeah, she yeah, showed me loads from the morning market which was really really nice and the mother must be kicking on mid 70s lovely lady and i remember when i left so can i give you some money for the breakfast no 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 it's really really nice i can highly highly recommend if you come to trang sleep a house and it was very cheap look at the accommodation review when i if you haven't seen it when i arrived in trang i'm just on a bit of a march because for some reason I thought it was about half an hour walk to get here from the train station, uh, from the bus station and it wasn't, it was actually 50 minutes, nearly two and a half miles and then when I get to Krabby I've got a three and a half mile walk from Krabby bus station onto my new accommodation which looks really really nice by the way and I'll show you that at the end of the vlog as always There's the clock tower, what I've seen when I was there. Have a look about at the sights of Trang again on another vlog. And that's where the centre point night market is. So every night, all the way up from this corner, all the way up to the top and just around the corner. If you see me vlog when I did the sights and the night market, on the night this is all absolutely full of stalls. And you wouldn't believe it on a daytime because it just looks like a normal street. Then everything gets cleared away on the night until the next day it's all back up and running again it's so crazy how the 
pick everything up and go and be quickly there straight away the next night and every night now I forgot about these the seals well what I was calling the seals they're not they're actually dungans I think it's called dungans they're sea cows at the sea only in this place near Trang you get these big sea cows and they're massive and I wanted to go and see them yesterday uh, but I couldn't get a bike um, I reserved one I went back the next day uh, on the night to pick it up not available so I reserved one for the next morning not available so uh, I asked me I asked Claire if she could try and get me one she couldn't find one so I did the food tour which was great yesterday's food tour again if you haven't seen it catch up the food in Trang was amazing and really cheap so I went to Richie's Bakery but it was worth it it was worth it and to meet Richie Trang as well he's a really nice guy Hello. This is where I met Mok Tai when I first come into uh, to Trang, the ex Mutai boxer. Whether he was an ex Mutai boxer is another matter, but he was definitely a really nice guy. Yeah, we had a good little crack on, a little bit of a wrestle. <laughs> but yeah, he was a lovely guy. It'd be nice to walk past him again on the way back. Uh, the charcoal seems to be working really well on my belly. I didn't want to use it straight away. I want to make sure I got all the all the pests out of the body, all the poison and what have you. But yeah, it seems to work really well. The food too yesterday was great. To be able to eat again, oh, it was absolutely amazing. It was. Although I'm still restricted from the from the uh, spices, I give it a couple of days. I'll kick it right back in. Can't wait. Come on, Muktai, where are you? I'm not far now, I'm about 15 minutes away. I want to get the 11.30 bus. I think the last one is at 12.30. But if I get there at 11.30, I think it's about two and a half hours. I'll land at two o'clock. Three and a half hour walk to the accommodation. So I'll get there about 3.30. Four o'clock at a short stroll. Which is a good time to get relaxed. There's the Dungans, the sea cows. I don't think I've been to work somewhere in Thailand with so much street art. There's a Dungan on a moped. <laughs> Some buffalo. I also met a lovely lady in the late 70s in a restaurant yesterday called Vivian. She's been living, she was living in Connecticut a while ago for two years, so she spoke really good English. So where I went for the crepe and the custard uh, steamed bun, she ordered it for me, because the, the, the English at the restaurant was very, very, very limited. And she was a lovely lady, she, I can't remember what island she lives on now, but it's somewhere very, very remote, I'd never heard of it before. She must have a good life, living somewhere extremely remote. And that restaurant where I went for the crepe and the, the custard donut for 30, uh, 30 baht for both of them for a crepe and a custard donut a uh, custard uh, steam bun sorry really really cheap I mean Trang, Trang on a whole has been cheap uh, it's, it's, it's up there with Catch on a Booty but Catch on a Booty's got a special place in the heart there's so many things to do there's all the history there with the railway and everything and the mountains yeah there's nowhere beats Kanchanaburi for me and here we are back at Trang bus terminal I set off five minutes late and got here five minutes early the Ritchie pace and I was stopping to Fulham in, in places and we never seen when I arrived they have all the buses here, all the VIP buses going to Bangkok, range from like 
back to 711 to the first class the VIP 700 up to 833 you have loads of buses here at the eye Phuket Bangkok Songkla Saturn everything vast majority of places where you want to go you can get it from here and I'm going to see this lady here if I do remember correctly to go to Krabi uh, it's actually 12 o'clock <laughs> my quick march did me no favours but rather than get one of them buses and pay nearly double the price these are the ones you want to be looking out for like the three quarter bus and that's, that's mine there they're not whizzing around the corners they haven't got the foot down all the time well they have got the foot down a bit but you feel a lot safer on them I just got a little video on and I'll show you when I get on anyway it's really really comfortable if you've never seen me trip from uh, uh, Patlong to Trang then that's exactly the same bus but at least now I've got 35 minutes to get myself some little snacks before I set off God it's great to be able to eat again and you've got all sorts here little cafes yeah it's a really good bus station here at Trang and uh, as I said when I checked it out when I arrived I went to see her and it was uh, it's 112 baht it's about £2.50, £2.55 for a two, two, two and a half hour journey really really cheap obviously I don't want to touch any of these pre-cooked meals not just yet for a couple of days while you meet that's been kicking about the duck there is that a live one or is that a fake one? So I got myself a little pasty thing. You never know what's going inside these. It's always a gamble. So I just got one to see what it's like first. 10 baht, 22p. Always sweet. Thailand sugar is in everything honestly there's not many things you'll eat especially bread based products I've always got sugar in if you ask for a fruit drink with no sugar they'll definitely find a way to put some sort of sugar in it even if it's not full of condensed milk or something like that it's always really really sweet seen these before in the new viewers I know the old ones a bit said so, so. yeah you get these from the chemist from the pharmacy or from the 7-eleven they range from about five to seven baht and you replace any mineral salts in your body I've sweated a lot on the quick march here so yeah they're really really good you get mixed fruit orange original flavour really good to replace all your mineral salts I need it very much needed throughout the day. I'll just go in the pharmacy and ask them for electrolyte drinks. Or electrolyte sachets, so it's, uh, add it to 250 ml of water, you're laughing. Five minutes until the off. 62 miles it is. Don't know why I get 100 nod. Um, I always think kilometres and then say oh, miles. So yeah, it's about it's about two hours on the bus. Yep, I'm still here. <laughs> At least she's honest. She come and show me a message. Sorry, there are no customers. We will now be leaving at 12:15. We'll see when 12:15 comes to see if any more customers turn up. Yeah, 15 minute delay. I don't mind. I can totally understand it's the Asian way and they want to make the bus pay so yeah just to get on the chain what can you do 
Ah, uh, no, yeah. I like to say I totally understand. I think there's only three people, me and two others, that are on that big bus, so... It's one of them. Just out the back of the bus terminal, you've got the Deed Club. Looks really nice. Cafe and restaurant. And you've got like an, an old London type, or an old English or British type phone box. Painted black. Got pails to sit on. It's like a tent to sit in there with a little table, put your drinks on and everything. It's like a really nice place. Stage there for live music. Oh, these I'm walking on. It's like walking on a piano. Let's see if we can have a little walk in there. Smoke machine. Everything's a little. I don't know why I keep saying little. There's a big barbecue. <laughs> have loads of little tents. Okay, I'm walking. Little tents. He never replied, but I'm coming in anyway. He never said no. Yeah, it's a really nice place to come and relax on a night. And out the back, you got the river. Ladders for, I wouldn't be going up there. <laughs> really nice, relaxing place on a night. They must have been putting all the, all the lights up and what have you. The Deed Club. And we're away. So, this is effectively the 12.30 bus. I'm not bothered. I'm in no rush. I've always said if you want to get a flight, if you need to get out anywhere in time, always get there very early. I'll get a taxi. Um, if it's very important for you to get somewhere quickly in Asia, always think in advance. Buses can always be there. Any anything can be there in Asia. Bus really really comfortable. You never seen my last one. I will say the leg room is a little bit tight for me. I'm six foot. If there was someone else up there instead of my bag, then it would be a bit of a squeeze. I'd be sat on one of them single seats over there. But otherwise, it's great. 112 baht, £2.45. Goodbye, Trang. I will be back. A beautiful tea. I'm here, crabby, crabby bus terminal. Two and a half hours it took from pillar to post with people and parcels, as always. <laughs> I was having a little giggle with myself on the bus. So, this is pretty much the same as Trang. You've got all the buses going to uh, Bangkok, Mochit, the southern bus terminal. On the on side, exactly the same. Government buses, very, very cheap. I've just been to see that lady there and that gentleman to see about the bus to Phuket and Kolak. To see when they run and what time they run, how much they are. So it's 170 baht to Phuket from here and they run every half an hour and it's 280 baht to Kolak, which I thought was about the same distance to be honest with you, but you can get all over here. Exactly the same as in Trang, you've got Khao Sok, Samui, Phuket, 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 <laughs> there's about six stairs, tops there for Phuket. Back in the mountains, look at them in the background there. And again, you've got Bangkok, Bangkok, Kolok, Kolok, which is, I think it's Kolak, from where I've just been told. Hajai, Chang. And I uh, can't see down the bottom properly there. But yeah, 
pretty much the same as Trang. So now I'm going to make my way up my accommodation. We'll see what we can find on the way there. And then I'll show you where my accommodation is. Where are these going? This is the one to go to Hadjai, Suratani. God knows what that is. <laughs> right outside the bus terminal. So I've just been talking to a lad from Gateshead, well he's from Romania. But he lives in Gateshead, he's a taxi driver. He's on holiday. As soon as I got off the bus, I said thanks to the bus driver. And he heard me. Hey, you a Geordie? <laughs> no, I'm not a Geordie mate. I'm close by though. From Darlington. Ah, oh, no Darlington, I've been there many times in the taxi. He's a nice guy, really nice guy. Oh, it's good to be in Krabby. We're very, very, very tempted to go down to Phuket just for three nights or something. When my friends come over in, uh, in March, um, uh, they're staying at, well, I'm, I'm staying there as well, I'm booked up at Car Caron Beach. So I don't mind going to the same place and just doing a little recce. So I know the place is show them as soon as they come. I mean, I've been to Caron before, but I've never actually stayed there. I've just done a couple of vlogs around it. On the beach. It's not far from Patong, where I stayed last time. Setting off on my walk. It's actually only 3.1 mile. I just stopped at that place there for a... Uh, I was going to get a cup of cocoa before I set off on my journey. 60 baht? No, 60 baht? I'm talking 20, 30. I think that's probably because you're so close to the bus station. Overinflated prices. I'll get on my toes and we'll find somewhere cheaper. Stop for a nice cuppa or maybe something to eat. Let me show you where I am. Just sat down there. I wonder that lovely lady over there. We got this. A nice little thank you. Chocolate drink. 25 baht, 55p. Go get some people messaging me saying, Where do you keep sheets out of the prices? It gets boring because it's a budget channel. <laughs> it's my travels on a budget. It's just showing people how cheap you can do it to inspire people to travel on a cost. That's why I do it. Enjoy. Cheers. That is really, really good. 55 pence. That is amazing. I'm hardly set off. Still got about three miles to go. But with a smile, as always. Could get myself a little skateboard and I get there in no time. Tent, sack the hotel, get yourself a tent. Some golf clubs. I'm going to on the skateboard. I'm not sure you focus on the height of the skateboard. That's a big second hand shop. Swatty Cap! Well, we have all sorts of here mini speakers, Bluetooth speakers. Great. Really good shop. Computer seats, pianos, organs. Oh, I've been made Jade love that. There you go, Jay. 18,000 baht down to 7 to 12,000 baht. Wow, the Roland as well. That's cheap. Very, very cheap. I'm going to look over there. Body card. Look at all this way. Oh, they have everything there. Playstations.
Department of Marine and Coastal Resources. Well, it's not closed, and that's no entry to cars. Let's have a little look down the river. Very dry, very dry. Where's the crops? Can't see any. Beautiful, nonetheless. Probably. One mile to go. There's my room. Uh, my hotel, sorry. Pack up hostel. And I'll pick this for a variety of reasons. Um, it's right central. It's very, very, very cheap. Uh, and you get a free breakfast. You get poached eggs, toast, fruit, cereal. Uh, what else did you do? Poached eggs, toast. Food. cereal that's it <laughs> what more do you want that's great it's really really good and it's very cheap wait till the end and i'll tell you how much it is but oh man you won't believe it for a free breakfast as well it, it's all i need all i need is a bed good wi-fi which i'm going to check out but all the reviews say it's really good wi-fi and it's got a swimming pool let's go and check it out and a gym right i'm going to walk through quickly because there's music on Got all the tours, everything you want to do here. Now you're finding this pretty much the same as me. I haven't seen the swimming pool yet. I haven't seen the bar. I got uh, vouchers for three free drinks as well. Three. Because I'm stopping here three nights. Three nights, three free drinks. Just wait to find out the price. There's all the bar area. Pack up hostel. There's the pool. It's nice and clean. I'm expecting a lot of resistance here towards the camera. Younger people, what can you do? Ah, another YouTuber. <laughs> There's another bar. 70 got for a small chime, 120 for a large one. There's a 7 Eleven just around the corner. If you did, we'll come here and want a beer. Not for me. Full table. Is that free? And I can't see any coin slots, so I presume so. Oh yeah, there's all the balls, yeah. So you've got a free pool table. Where's the gym? Oh, I think the gym's on the top floor. That's right, yeah, the gym's on the top floor. Looks a lovely little seat there, yeah. All leather couches. Looks spot on. Right up my street. For relaxing. Now I'm on the second floor. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Spa, arm massage. Never knew that. Happy all day breakfast. Croissants. Egg and bacon croissant, pancakes, Caesar salad. Oh, that's a baker's, that's a different one, that. That's not here, I was going to say. Wow. I'll we'll stop here a week. <laughs> right, let's dash straight upstairs. 
yeah the gym's on the top floor I'm on the second floor all the rooms are different names as always I'm in the geography room and believe it or not my bed is the UK which pleases me immensely <laughs> Oh, little lovely, lovely view. Look at that. This is just the second floor. Look, Customs also over the road. Plenty of tour operators over the road as well. Now, the tour is doing up a bit expensive here. Said, uh, I asked how much the bus would be to Kalala. It's 400 baht. Walk three miles down the road. It's 280. Side, a pull-up machine, monkey bars. Feel free to work. Oh, a few more free words there. Yeah, it's canny. I'm not really one for a swimming pool, but I might have a dunk, you know. It's been a long day. And this is off the top. And the sea, you come just down this river and it cut, like, runs out into the sea. I think this is where two rivers coming together before they go into the sea, what you call it, an estuary or something. Sure, it's something like that. What a view! That is awesome. You can get two of here all over, you can get a boat straight from here, straight to the PP Islands. And everywhere, Koh Lanta. Yeah, they have uh, boats going everywhere from, from Krabi. Let's go and check out my room. Wake up. Hi. That's not it. I'm in wrong room. <laughs> Geography. Geo. Geo. That's yes. it. Sorry. 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 Yes. Thank you. From Cap. Ah, yeah. This bed. This bed. Oh, very good. Very good. This bed, my my plane's finished. Oh, very good. This one. Thank yeah. you. Cop okay. and Cap. Yes, Cop and Cap. So that's my bed. And you got a big locker. Towel. Put that in there. Yeah, you've got sockets. Big curtain to put across. Power points. Having geography. See what's on the back. Phone seats. Shower, toilet. They all look very clean. Shows up good. Very clean. Hi mate, you alright? Hi. I bet watch the sun go down from over here. There's a temple under construction. Or reconstruction, whichever. And I know they do laundry services here as well. They have machines on the bottom floor. And I think it's 20 or 30 back to do a wash. And then you can just put your you put your wall clothes on the line. This place is seven pounds a night. Seven pounds a night. You get a free drink set voucher for each night. 
you get your breakfast, let's say poached eggs, fruit, uh, egg, uh, toast. Uh, it's, it's amazing, it's really, really good. Seven pounds a night. If you went anywhere else, you're paying a pound for a drink, at the very, very least. That, that's from the 7-Eleven. And then you're paying at least two, three pound for a, for a breakfast buffet. So, so there's four pounds. So you're paying three pounds for your bed. Wow, it's a no-brainer. And you're getting free Wi-Fi and everything. So yeah, three nights. This is my home. Tomorrow, we'll be checking out Krabby. See what's got to offer. And it looks like there's loads. It looks like it's really, it looks like it's a really nice place to have a check out. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Catch you in the next one.